What's up everybody, my name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcast Crossworlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP episode 7 and if you like anime reviews don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload and if you want to support the Superfina channel we got Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be in the description. We are reviewing The Saints Magic Pirate is OP Episode 7 Interlude and it was unexpected. I had an idea that it was going to be about Ira. Yeah, it showed like 25% of her. The 75% of the episode was about Prince Kyle. I was... Uh, I'm conflicted. Prince Kyle isn't so bad. No. <laughs> I I feel bad for not liking him now. I feel bad for saying all that stuff in my previous reactions and reviews. Man. <sighs> Prince Kyle has layers. He's got layers. This this episode just portrayed him so well as a character. Not so well as a person, but as a character. <laughs> yeah, I'm... <laughs> so let's talk about Ira first. So Ira, she's a girl that was summoned, right? She was summoned, she's young. She still had a life to live. She she had friends, she has family. Well, I'll say she was an adult, she already experienced all that. She was just a workaholic and she was tired of life. Wow, Ira, she still had a life to live. And she gets summoned. She gets summoned to another world and she's in a foreign area. She didn't read manga or play video games because she's like, okay, what is this place? What's Miasma? Anyone who watches or knows about fantasy stuff knows what Miasma is, right? If you don't know what Miasma is, it's usually dark energy. Uh, it's usually dark energy that's emitted by evil negative creatures that corrupt things around they corrupt you know they make things hard to live in they make it can kill you okay <laughs> and that's why this kingdom was on the verge of destruction because they're going to be overrun with miasma and they summon a priestess or sanctus they summon a sanctus to or a saint because sanctus is female but saint to purify to save the kingdom so she gets summoned and she doesn't know what miasma is so they're teaching her and kyle prince kyle he's like hmm, 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 hmm. yes i have summoned the saintess yes i am proud of myself mm -hmm. i have done my duty as the next line in the throne the successor to the kingdom and ira over here is like where am i what is this what's miasma what Huh? And they're explaining what she needs to do, how can she help, they're very grateful that she's there to help out, and she's asking this. If I help out, if I can be the saintess, can I go back home? And they're like, what? She asks if she can go back home and they tell her that they're not too sure and she cries. She's crying that she can't go back home and Prince Kyle feels bad. And this is where I feel like Prince Kyle learns that he kind of messed up <laughs> in many, many ways. But this is where he feels empathy for her sympathy empathy not empathy because he can't really understand what she's feeling but sympathy because he feels bad for her and i think this is where his protectiveness starts just from her tears he's looking at her like she's a human being and he needs to take care of her because he took her away from her home and he's putting her in danger. He's putting all this responsibility on a stranger, a young girl who has no idea what's going on. So this is Ira's development. More like, this is where we understand her and this episode shows this part where they're giving, they're showing her clothes. Like, okay, here's your new clothes for this world. And she's given options. Lots of options, different colors, and she's looking at this blue dress. 
But then the maid's like, oh, how about you try this pink dress? And she's like, oh, okay. And she does a, there's a flashback of when she's picking clothes with her family for a photo. And her mother, I think it's her mother, picks a pink dress for her. And she's like, oh, you'll look really nice in this. But then Ira's eyeing out a blue dress. Come back to present time. After the maid is suggesting the pink dress, Ira's eyeing out the blue dress. So I'm wondering if this is like a foreshadow, a little sneak peek to Earth later on episodes where she wants something, but she follows what others want to. Like she's a people pleaser. I'm wondering if that's gonna be a pattern later on. In like within other situations, I'm not too sure, but it seems like something in that similar situation, it's gonna occur. Like for example, like she has a choice of men and she wants this one guy, but people are suggesting this other guy, so she goes with that guy. <laughs> Let me know what you think about that. Do you think that whole pink versus blue dress scenario is going to occur in a different situation. And then Ira, she is acclimating to this environment and she's learning about the prince. And the prince is an awkward person. She knows that he's a little awkward, but he, 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 ah, oh, was it, was that word where, where I screenshotted this. Hold on. Let me look at this screenshot. It says he's extremely self-centered and awkward and direct to a fault. So she sees his flaws, but he is direct to a fault. He is, okay, my kingdom's in trouble. I need help. I summoned a saint. This girl, I think she's a saint. I'm asking her for her help. I can't hate him for wanting to save his kingdom. I can't hate him for wanting to protect, protect his people. You can totally tell that Prince Kyle is trying to take care of her, trying to make sure that everything works out for her. He sends her to school. He goes to school with her. He's watching her grow. He's monitoring her studies, monitoring her magic and such. And she's making friends with the guys. And from this protectiveness that Prince Kyle has made, all his like supporters there's only two people two guys one guy with green hair the other guy who's like going to be the next future prime minister and they're helping her out they're they're like oh we need to help her because you know she's stranded in a foreign world and this is where all these girls make some side eye looks at her they're like oh who's this oh she's always hanging out with these guys who is she Oh, these guys have fiancé. She's not supposed to hang out with them. Oh, that's bad. And it's like, oh, this protectiveness is good, but it's also bad. I call it friend blocking. <laughs> and it's a double-edged sword. Like, one, it's like, yeah, Ira's having a good time. She's adapting. She's doing well in this new world, but on the other side, it's also hurting her socially. And the interesting thing is Prince Kyle is really hard on his people. Like he's, they say he's strict. He's strict. Like they need to discipline people. I, I also screenshotted this because I thought this was like a little ironic. It says part of our duties is ensuring adherence to proper social discipline. In simpler terms, we must be strict with the kingdom's people to help uphold the kingdom's peace. Okay, so there's a part about proper social discipline. All right, in this world, if men have fiancés, women should not hang out with them because that's discourteous to the female fiancé, right? To the female partner. Well... Apparently, most of these guys have fiancés, Prince Kyle, especially. He's hanging out with her, a female, that goes against the proper social discipline. So it's like he's contradicting himself, but he's not realizing it. And I mentioned this in my reaction. 
He has tunnel vision. <laughs> How he wants to protect her and stuff. He's like, okay, must protect Ira. Must make her feel happy here. Must make her comfortable. And then on the outside of this tunnel is the so social discipline that he's totally ignoring or oblivious to it. not ignoring he's oblivious to it because he's got that tunnel vision it, and it's like oh dear that's that's what i got from the ira section the 25 percent of the episode now the 75 percent of the episode totally shows the different layers of prince kyle oh gosh and oh you just see a whole transition this is a really good episode for prince kyle and i liked it so we see Prince Kyle, he's arrogant. He's like, hey, I have summoned the saint. Ha ha. And then you see him having compassion for Ira, wanting to protect her. And then you just see how he's going from arrogant prince to concerning noble. It's like he has a friend and it's like a type of barrier armor against other people in this social world because there is i guess competition for the next seat in the throne he does have a younger brother and there seems to be a little conflict in the court and such where there's a faction supporting him and there's a faction supporting his younger brother and with adding Iroh, who he feels like he needs to protect, he enforces this armor. And this is where I think his she is a saint comes from. So he summons her. He says she's a saint. And he wants her to be the saint. Because if she's not the saint, she's in trouble. In trouble as in, okay, she has no place in this world. She's going to be discarded. So he needs her to be useful. He needs her to be the saint. To protect herself, right? This is what this is what I'm getting from him. And he wants her to succeed. So that's why he's really pushing it. Really pushing for her to be the saint. Giving her all these resources. Helping her so much. And then... And then he learns about the say and all of her accomplishments and who's backing her. And he's like, crap, I messed up. Ira might not be the saintess. <laughs> and this is where I'm like, no, I feel sympathy for Prince Kyle. Prince Kyle knows he messed up. <laughs> he knows that because of his pride, he totally ignored Stay. He even admitted it. He admitted it that he didn't acknowledge her because she looked like a servant. She looked like a wet nurse. He, she didn't look like a saint or a noble. He, he judged her. He, he was prejudiced. And he totally acknowledges that because of his pride, he made a mistake. And he has to live with it. There's repercussions for it. Like there's layers of consequences. So not only is he putting Ira in danger. Because if she's not a saint. She can be discarded. And also there's consequences to his inheritance to the throne. His reputation. His credibility. Okay he picked the wrong girl. Why should he be the next king if he picked the wrong saintess? He can't even apologize. Because if he does apologize to say then he's admitting that he was wrong and that <laughs> that hurts his credibility again so it's so complicated i like it i like how complicated this is the only thing he can do is make himself look a jerk because if he makes himself look bad that means that ira's not in the wrong all the responsibility is on him. So it's like, okay, if they pity Ira because I'm the jerk, then Ira will be okay. And it's like, it's totally different from how Stay was like, okay, what if I'm not the same? And they're like, well, okay, then we'll just have you help with the expeditions because you still have power. You still have these abilities. 
while the prince his thing is okay if Ira's not the same they're just gonna use her as a tool it's totally different it's oh it's more like the way prince kyle sees things in this whole situation is more grave like it's a little dramatic but it adds the seriousness to it while in C's situation it's like oh you know la di da di da you're fine <laughs> it this makes it look like Say's having it easy okay <laughs> So I, I do like how Prince Kyle is conscious of everything. He's being aware and it's like his tunnel vision is like widening. He's being more aware of things, what's going on around him. And that was my review of The Saints Magic Power is OP Episode 7. What did you think about that episode? What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do stop by the stream to talk about the anime, the episodes, about these videos, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is available in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this was a Super Fina channel reviewing The Saints Magic Power is OP Episode 7. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.